CJ So Cool. Always known with the great legacy. What's up my little bitty babies? It's your little bit guys and I am back with another video. As I always say guys, if you have not watched my latest video, do be sure to watch it. The link will be down in the description below. Also be sure to give this video a thumbs up guys and subscribe if you're not subscribed and join the family. Jumping into this video, I want to say happy Mother's Day, belated Mother's Day to all the mothers out there. Now I also want to send some love Miss Brady Way. She has been going through a lot. Now, she did post this picture in her Instagram story. Now, I think this picture has something to do with her partner. And maybe he was in the hospital. I'm not really sure why or what exactly happened. But I just want to tell her to just keep her head up. So, my message to Mama So Cool is... So, Mama So Cool, this might be your current situation. Just keep your head up. You have been through it and you have conquered. And this too, you should conquer. So, this is just a moment and this too should pass. And if you can overcome the things that you dealt with in the past and you're standing here today strong and empowered, then you can overcome any small obstacle to try to come your way. I just wanted to say that before jumping into this video. Now, jumping into this video, we have Nike who is showing off her Mother's Day gifts. Now, she have received Mother's Day gifts from CJ as well as um, Tavy. So, let's check it out. Okay, y'all. My baby daddy had got me this cake. Um, he originally got me flowers, but... The Uber man stole them, so he doubled back with a cake because he said, what? Best mom around. He know what type of time I'm on. Shout out to CJ. Moving right along. My baby mama did her big one, y'all. Her use. My daughter got me a gift to a having delivered check. My baby daddy. The okay, y'all. My baby daddy had got me this cake. Um, He originally got me flowers, but watching and actually enjoy in peace. So CJ did say he wanted peace, so let's hear him talk about that. Situation where my back was against the wall and I didn't break down, I didn't crack, I didn't fold. But now, it's almost like, when is enough enough, you know? Some people are cool with war, fighting, negativity, drama, toxicity. But I'm not, even though I'm actually in Aries and you know what they say, we're the God of war. I've actually found that I'm more the opposite. I just want peace. I don't want to wake up to an empty house. I don't want to wake up to death threats. I don't want to wake up to all kinds of nasty, toxic things you can think about. I just want to live, man. Just like you guys. I just want to live. I don't want to have to be putting up with this. This isn't normal for me, man. My whole life I had to fight. Why must I continue? I don't want to. I shouldn't have to. I've did enough good in this world to deserve some greatness. And what I mean by greatness is just some time alone. Some time with my family. Some time with my girlfriend. Some time where I don't have to do this or do that for anybody. Don't we all deserve a little bit of that? Okay, so what we got out of that dramaticness is CJ said that he will not give up no matter what, which is good. CJ also let us know that he cannot move out of state. He wanted to and that he was looking. Um, he also mentioned Florida, but said he can't because it would pretty much put his life and his rights at jeopardy. Now, I don't know what he meant when he said his life. I don't really understand that one, but... And I'm saying it in the sense of Florida because he said something about Florida. So that's what I mean, what I don't understand when he said that. And Lance Rico got people down there and Charlene's still trying to put something on his head down there also. I don't know, but. Where to move to? We have a lot of options here. We have, uh... I don't know how many options we have, but we probably don't have that many. <laughs> um, uh, this is a hard decision to make. Am I gonna take my talents outside of the state of Nevada and go against the state's wishes? Because technically I cannot move from Las Vegas because this is where I opened the case. And since this is the state that presides over us, we have to live here. So if I choose to move, then let's say, go to Florida, I will be putting myself and my rights at jeopardy, which is nothing I'm willing to do. So, looks like the move is gonna be cut short and we're gonna have to figure it out and it's gonna be somewhere in Nevada because I can't move out of the state. So that makes my options very limited right there. Because technically, after the year I've had out here, I would love to move to any one of y'all states. 
So do you guys remember when Trick Daddy invited CJ to live in Florida and he told him to pretty much come on down there? Because I do recall Trick Daddy telling CJ that he was good wherever he was, which was in Florida, and that if he came and moved to Florida, that he would have his back. What I do. Haters have no power over real people, man. Always remember that. Thank you, man. Damn, we get all that. Yeah, but you ain't gotta worry about that shit down here. Cause you got it. I got you. And you got a restaurant and I like to eat and I'm gonna be pulling up on Sundays and Mondays and it's called Sundays. It's called Sundays. So we it go up and open every day except Tuesday. I thought you were gonna say Sunday. You, know, you better man. not say Sunday. So you guys heard that he was not able to go, even though he mentioned Florida, he's not able to move to Florida. But I think it would have been good for them because it's a new scenery and it's also a hot state just like Nevada. But I wonder if it's a law that he could possibly jump state due to um, protect, like a protective custody thing due to her and her man threatening his life. And then the fact that he has to hide out is just completely crazy. Now, I hope CJ has went forward and did some type of paperwork on Charlene and her goons and his front, her boyfriend or whoever it is instead of him hiding out in his house and possibly not being able to even get out with his kids it's just bizarre now cj also mentioned that they're breaking into houses in his neighborhood now, i don't know if this is just part of the skit and he just trolling or even trying to be entertaining or if it's part skit and a bit of truth so yeah Put some states in the comments of where I should move to just to feel a little bit safer because Las Vegas ain't it. This is Sin City for real and they running around trying to do drills on everybody. My whole neighborhood is in shook mode right now because they breaking in to every house. And now, what I'm gonna do? Tell them that I was just on the list? I can't even tell them, man. They're gonna be like, oh, nah, man. The fourth robbery in a week? That, that's not good, it's not good. The prices in my neighborhood finna drop. Matter of fact, I should re-rent up in here because after all the robberies, there's no way that it should be 16,000 a month. But I'm just saying, hey, HOA, if you're watching. But, uh, you know, I never really liked this house after I moved in. I felt like it was a decision I made too quickly. I felt- Guys, CJ's pretty much said that he's paying 16,000 a month. Oh my God, like, that is crazy. I know the first house, the little, um, the high-rise condo um, was like 11000 he said. But in this one, he moved to a bigger house, so it was 16000 um, a month, which is crazy. And I'm saying it in a sense due to the fact that he's renting. Like, that's really crazy. I would have had to stick to like around 6 k 7 k um, And even that's too much, being the CJ only have just three kids. So he probably should have stayed around a maximum of 5 k a month and saved like crazy. Now CJ also said that he's not going to just give up. So you guys check this out. Roll over and die. I'm never gonna fold. I'm never gonna crack. I'm never gonna even bend. But you know what I will do? I will rise above all. All expectations, all doubts, all threats. All forms of manipulation, I will succeed and I will remain whole and true to myself. Because I am CJ So Cool. So those of you out there watching, if you want a true life example of what it looks like to go through some stuff continuously and never quit or give up, this is what it looks like. I may not be as consistent as you want me to be. I may not even be as consistent as I want to be right now. But I tell you what I am doing, I'm making sure no one knows my next move. Again, it's true what he just said, whether he did it in skip form or not. Hopefully he did take legal action, and I'm just gonna say that. And maybe he has behind the scenes and is just not saying it because he don't want them to know. So he probably wanted to be, you know, the cops to get every bit of evidence they need or even for it to be a surprise, who knows? But um, yeah, guys, this is gonna wrap up this video. I thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Yeah.